At this time, I would invite Mike Hooded to come forward, and he's going to share about the new uh, Sharon Bicycle Safety Park. Thank you, Robin. Good morning, and thank you for inviting me to speak to the parish today. Uh, I'm a member of Mercer County Trails, been a member for at least 12 years, and also the Sharon Recreation Commission. In my working life, I've been retired now for about eight years, I've had the opportunity and good fortune to travel all over the United States and most of Canada. And on all those business trips, I always looked at what cities and communities were doing for recreation, in particular, free recreation. And as I came back to the valley and home, and this has been my home for 35 years, I basically found that we lack outdoor recreation for our children, at least in the last 20 or so years. The recreation budget for the city of Sharon is $3,000. And as a member of the Sharon Recreation Commission, we recently took over the North Sharon Fire Hall, and we did that to ensure we kept the ball field the Little League field over there. We were afraid if the fire hall went to ruin, the land may be sold and developed in some other way. There's also a playground at that fire hall, which most people didn't even know existed because it was obscured with trees. We got that area cleaned up, and I'm proud to say it is one of two playgrounds in the city of Sharon. We don't have the money to do a recreation program there, but we do have the playground. Now, biking all across America is an avid and big time sporting event for people of all ages and children. Pickleball is another. And it seems like Buell Park is able to get all these things, yet the city of Sharon has been lacking. So seven years ago, I took a small group from Buell Park, Tom Custer and Tom Rostis, and we traveled down to North Park in Pittsburgh and looked at what they had for free bicycling opportunities for children and adults. They had a mountain bike trail, they had a pump track, and they had a skills track. We came back. And I'm proud to say I helped the park build the pump track. And a bunch of volunteers built the mountain bike track. But they left out that skills park. So in the back of my mind, for seven years, I've been dreaming of building a skills and safety park for children. And I wanted it in Sharon, not at the old park. I convinced the city of Sharon to donate the land. They didn't give me any money, but they did donate the land. And I hired a construction company out of Sandy Lake, Pennsylvania, uh, yeah, PA, and they're the group that built Sharpsville's Trout Island Trail. And they've worked with the Trails Association for years. Currently, we're working up in Greenville, building another section of Trout Island Trail. So I convinced them to design for me a bicycle playground and safety track for children from the ages of 5 to 15. This is some of it. We broke ground last month. It's not fully funded, but your church did make a sizable donation to this project, as did 35 other nonprofits, businesses, and individual people who were willing to invest in the health and wellness of our children. I'm not an avid cyclist, but I am a parent and a grandparent. And it pains me to no end to see my granddaughter and other children sit in a room and text to each other rather than talk. And to play the Xboxes and live on a computer screen. I believe that's some of the reasons why childhood uh, diabetes is on the rise, childhood obesity is on the rise, depression and mental health of our children is being eroded. 
The quality of life today may be better in some ways, but when I was a kid, and again I'm 73, when I was a child when school was out, I jumped on my bike, grabbed my ball glove, pedaled to a field somewhere and played pickup ball or went to a basketball hoop and played basketball and interacted with other children my age, of all creeds and colors. That's not happening today. For a child to play sports today, hockey will cost the family minimum $5,000 if your child wants to play hockey. If they want to play baseball, Little League, it's not cheap. If they want to play tennis, that's cheap. Buy a racket and balls. Unfortunately, there's no tennis courts in Shinner. They have to get to Bill Park to play. So this bicycle track in downtown Sharon, the site was donated by the city. They said, you can build it if you want. So we did, and we broke ground last month. It should be finished, hopefully, this coming week. Seven years I've been thinking about it. I convinced Horizon Construction, who built it, to make a community donation, and they did. They chipped in $10,000 after they gave me the price of this thing. This is a $150,000 project, if you count the land involved. To build it, it's $81,000. When I started seven years ago, it was $44,000. So with COVID, the break, and the time to get it built, it costs a little bit more money. Again, I'm not fully funded. When I had the construction company come, they designed it in two phases, phase one and two. Phase one was $44,000 or 43, and phase uh, one was 38, there about, total 81. When they started, I couldn't have them start, so I told them, build it all. Even though I wasn't fully funded, I'm close. I told my wife, if I can't raise the money, I'll take it out of my retirement funds. She told me, don't worry about it. I'll take it out of our, your life insurance. <laughs> Either way, it's getting built. We have our grand opening scheduled for September 29th at 3.30 in the afternoon. This is located in River Gardens Park, behind the apartment buildings on Sterling Avenue. There's a fishing pier there, a community garden, and there are other plans with us building this. The city of Sharon has decided to put a softball or Little League field down here. So that's coming. How soon? I hope it doesn't take seven years. And the city is setting on a lot of money, and hopefully they find it in themselves to think about the health and wellness of our children. And if we want our kids to stay here, I have two, two children. One here, one in Pittsburgh. The one in Pittsburgh wouldn't move back here for anything. The one that is here is the executive director of the Bill Regional Health Foundation, and she's trying to make a difference in this area. And I'm a firm believer that government isn't a difference. You all are. So I invite you to come to my grand opening. I thank you, and I thank the mission committee here for taking an interest in this project and taking an interest in the health and well-being of our children. I'll leave some business cards if anybody wants a personal tour of it and like to know more. And uh, again, thank you for the opportunity and thank you for the donation to this worthwhile project. Mike, thank you. First Church and um, our mission team are very pleased to support that bike safety park.